You don't need Elementor or any other page builder to design a professional hero section in your website. The Gutenberg cover block is a fully customizable element that can serve as a number of purposes. It could be used as a classic hero banner with a full width photo background and text overlay. Along the way, I will recreate some examples to demonstrate what's possible with this versatile block. I enter the slash forward key to add that one column block. I now add the cover block to my content. You upload your background image from the media library or from the computer. The cover block could contain just about any type of content, but paragraph text is the default option. From the block toolbar, you can switch into a heading. Let's convert it to a heading. You can align the heading itself to the left, right and center from the toolbar. When using the left or right alignment, you can put another block beside the cover block. Aligning a cover block to the left, center or right should be supported by most any theme. However, wide or full width alignments need to be specifically supported in order to work on your website. So, if you don't see options for wide width or full width alignments in your cover block, it's likely because your theme doesn't yet support it. I choose a wide width. I suggest you use a simple and whether it's a section title or a call to action or a code, the block should be easy to read, simple and accessible. Combine these with your imagination to build something beautiful. In the right sidebar, this block also allows you to set your desired point picker. Let's suppose I want the sky to be the focal point. All I have to do is to drag up. Using the overlay color options, you can add a color overlay to the cover image. By default, it's a great transparent overlay, but with the overlay color options, you can switch that color to to any other color of your choice to have a unique visual effect. I enter the slide forward. I want a button block. You can adjust the button layout and the orientation and the block width. This is indeed an advanced button block, as you can see. Below, you can set the button padding according to your needs in all sizes or instead in one or two sides by clicking on the link button. Finally, I want to use one of the great Gutenberg features that is grouping all these elements together so I don't need to design anymore. So I click on the group option. Another great cover block feature is the parallax scrolling. A parallax scrolling effect is a website trend where the background image is moved at a different speed than the foreground content while scrolling. In the block settings on the sidebar, you will see a toggle for a fixed background feature. A fixed background means the cover image scrolls along with your page. Turning this option off embeds the image in place so the image doesn't scroll. Check the fixed background button under the cover settings. Additionally, change the background opacity to whatever setting you would like. The higher your change this, the darker the image will be. You can also determine the minimum, the minimum height of the cover image. All you have to do is to enter in this box your desired value. As you can see, you have full control when using this Gutenberg block. If you found this video informative, subscribe to the channel or leave a big thumbs up. If you do so, you are helping the channel to spread this knowledge. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.